Good morning, students. Hope you all are well. You know what is a square of a number means? Is it? And we studied some special features of squares. That is, we can say a square number is even or odd without calculating. Is it? And also, we know what are the relationship between odd numbers and square of a number. Today, we are starting from that relation. Relation between odd numbers and square of a number. We know how to find square of a number. By multiplying the number by itself. Is it? Square of 12 is 12 window 12. Now, how to find square roots of a number? That is, we know 2 square is 4. Square of 2 is 4. Is it? And the 2 is called square root of 4. Got it? For 2 digit numbers, it's easy to find out the square root. As we already studied, square roots up to 10. But after that, it's not easy to find out the square roots. So, we should know how to find out square root of a given square number. Let's consider 81. We know 9 square is equal to 81. Is it? We already studied we can find out square of a number by adding odd numbers. Is it? 2 square is 4. That is first 2 odd numbers sum is the 4. And 3 square is 9. 1 plus 3 plus 5. This is the relation between Square number and odd numbers. See, that is square of a number can be represent as sum of that much odd numbers. 3 square is sum of first 3 odd numbers. 4 square is sum of first 4 odd numbers. Got it? And we know by repeated subtraction of odd numbers in this order, we can find out root of a given square number. Suppose 9 square is 81 and 81 minus 1 we get 80. Then 80 minus next odd number that is 3 we get 77. Is it? 77 minus next odd number we get 72. Okay. Then 72 minus next odd number that is 7 we get yes 65. Then minus next odd number we get very good 56. Is it? Then 56 minus next odd number we get, get yes 45. Then very next 45 minus next odd number we get very good that is 32. Again 32 minus next odd number that is 15. We get, yes, 17. Then, 17 minus next odd number, we get 0. So, we start from the perfect square or square number and we can reach to 0 by repeated subtraction of odd numbers in the order. See? And how many times we subtracted the odd numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we know 9 square is 81. So using the relation of perfect square and odd numbers, 
we can find out the root of given square number. Is it? How many times we subtract the odd numbers in their order? That is the root of the given perfect square. Got it? So, we can find out perfect squares using this way up to a limit of numbers. When numbers became larger and larger, it is not possible. We take so much time, is it? So, we have to find out an easiest way to find out the root of a given square number. Let me check. The easiest way to find out root of a square number is prime factorization. You already studied how we can do the prime factorization. Using the same way, we can find out square root of a perfect square. For example, 81. Then, sum of digits is 9. It's a multiple of 3. So, we can divide this number with, yes, 3. When we divide with 3, we get 2 times in 8, in 21, 7 times. Again, 3, 9. Again, 3, it's 3. So, here the prime factorization completed. By getting a prime number as a reminder, we can stop prime factorization there. 81 is product of 4 3's. To find the square root, we pair the factors. That is here 2 and here 2. From a pair, select 1. That is from this pair 3. And from this pair 3. 3 into 3, 9. 9 is the square root of 81. Another example, 324. It's an even number. We can start with 2. 1 in 12, 6 times in 4, 2 times. Again 2, we get 81. Then 3, we get 27. 3, we get 9. And here the prime factorization completed. As I said, all factors in pair form. Okay. Select one from each pair and find the products that is 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 3 is 18. So 18 square is 324. Got it? So, this is the easiest and simplest way of finding square root of a perfect square. Now, it's your turn. Solve the given questions before DCS. If you have any doubt, we can discuss more in our DCS. Okay, then thank you. We will see in the next class. Bye.